Hey guys, Redleaf here. Welcome to King Kivyat. It's a new series, I haven't done it before. It's brand new to my channel, it's F1 2013 career mode, and I'm basically going to take Daniel Kivyat to the very top of the World Drivers' Championship. So, 2013 season, Melbourne Grand Prix, first race of the season. Going through the setup now, if you would like to use any of it, just pause it at the respective screens, take what you need, go for your life. It's, uh, yeah, it's interesting. It's a career mode, obviously. Just changed my name to Daniel Kvyat. And, uh, at first thinking to myself, hmm, I'm, I'm gonna start on the option tyres. And then I was like, let's dare to be different. Qualifying in 11th place. So, allowing me to choose whichever tyres I please. But, I believe it's around lap 9 that we head in for the options. Didn't want to wear out the tyres too much before we head in. Want to make sure we have good pace for most of the time that we're out there but going on to the race fuel strategy of aggressive now and as you can see they're qualifying 11th but checking the teammate challenge out qualifying our teammate john eric Vern. but apart from that nothing else has happened so far but let's head out onto the track and see what we can make of this race Alright, so we're on the grid now, starting from 11th place, as I said, changing the brake bias to rear, leaving it in standard fuel for now, but we've got four, we've got five lights, and we're away off the grid, using Kurs immediately, right from the get-go, changing it up into Rich right now, but getting absolutely mugged from the start. Got Duresta, Sutil, all the Force Indias, and I think, believe there was a Williams there, coming at me from all angles. Locking out the rears there, just losing a bit of grip, spinning, Sutil going around our outside, but heading down into turn 3 now. And are we going to dive bomb? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to dive bomb. And oh my god, that scared me so much. When he did that, I was like, it's over, because we are running the realistic damage mod. If you didn't realise, or if you didn't know, not that you would know, but probably an illegal overtake there, but nevertheless, squeezing Rojan out completely. And uh, yeah, not too bad in P5. I'm happy, I think, in this series to just finish in the points, you know. I want to take him to the very top, Daniel Kvyat. However, we're not going to be able to do it in a Toro Rosso. Not the best car that you ever did see. It's not terrible. I, I think we'll manage to get a points finish at, in at least 80% of the races this season. But I will not do a mid-season team swap. I will be with Toro Rosso till the very end of the season. But in saying that, there is an option, I believe, there was in 2012, I don't know if there is in this game, but you could simply choose a rival, and if you beat him on the final standings, you got his seat at that team. So I'm going to choose uh, Marusha, probably Bianchi for that, purely because I want the team that I moved to to have offered me the contract based on my performance, basically. I don't want to have to essentially buy my way in if you will but Mark Webber trying to go around the outside now we tried to block him tried to squeeze him out get him to just pull back but no it didn't happen he got around us and getting so much wheel spin there just basically lost any chances of getting back at him but yeah nothing came of that and we're heading around now on lap 5 still in P6 nothing happened and the people have gone into the pits let's see what happens is it third place? It is third place. We come out ahead, or Sutil is still behind us. We haven't come out in front of anyone, but there are more pit stops to happen on lap six now. I believe it is Weber and Hamilton in the pits there. So taking P1, obviously it means nothing. I'm still yet to pit, but yeah, dipping the tire the left front in the gravel trout there, but heading around losing a little bit of grip, spinning the wheels. And we've got Sebastian Vettel behind us now. He's going to have so much, or a, a huge grip advantage on... Well, he's on the prime tyres, much newer than mine. He got a better exit in general, and we've, we're entitled to do that. I made one blocking attempt, and I got a warning for causing a collision. Don't ask me how, but, you know, it happens. But again now, coming down, and what's going to happen here? 
would minus one lap on fuel actually come to think of it but I oh that's right I went to steer and I, I basically missed my steering point so now Sebastian Vettel was just right on the back of us but nothing coming of that running wide a little bit there on lap 8 pitting next lap and Sebastian Vettel again is going to make a huge run on us getting wheel spin out of that corner once again using the rest of our curves making another blocking move and he, he hasn't chosen to go around he's just pulled back and yeah we retain P1 but coming in for our pit stop now onto the option tyres let's see how we go with this pit stop I don't think anyone's going to hold us up no one else is doing this strategy everyone else has made all their pits pit stops so yeah hopefully around the three second mark Toro Rosso is usually pretty good let's see what it is yeah 3.076 pretty good stop indeed now one huge thing that I wanted to mention is I'm getting a new wheel guys I've been using this old Ferrari Thrustma Thrustmaster Ferrari 3-in-1 GT rumble some crap from like 10 years ago it doesn't have four speed feedback it's got nothing it's got absolutely nothing but you know getting a Thrustmaster TX oh my god that even scared me and I knew that was coming but yeah going around Sutil here we're gonna have the inside on this corner relax Luke running wide cold tires there wasn't anything we could do about it losing the front wing as well but he didn't end up making a run on us but skipping now there you can see actually there was a crash right there and it was at no fault of my own Sutil just deciding to just pull back couldn't get around me and I'm not sure who it was who tried to go around him I think it was a Williams oh passing Weber there so retaking six plates so strategy didn't do much but yeah, dipping the tyres in the gravel once more, coming around on the final lap, Sebastian Vettel has crossed the line to finish in first, but we will take 6th place, 6th place, I can't talk today, jeez, but yeah. <laughs>first points of the season great achievement finishing in sixth in a Toro so not too bad we were on the legend AI we will remain on the legend AI for the entirety of the season but I hope you've enjoyed guys we take sixth place on the drivers championship fourth place on the constructors championship but I must leave you now subscribe to make sure you don't miss the next episode but have a good day guys see ya